welcome. We're back at the uh, Detroit Lakes Library with April 22nd. It's Earth Day. It's also Volunteer Week. So let's talk to the city utilities here and kind of introduce yourself and what you do to help the environment. Yeah, hi, my name is Bridget Penton. I'm the Energy Services Specialist with Detroit Lakes Public Utilities. So our utilities consist of electric, water, and wastewater. So what we really try to do is inform our customers on um, energy efficiency products as well as clean water. So right here you'll notice we have several different rebates. This one is for your home. So we offer rebates for LED lighting, air purifiers, heating and cooling upgrades. They do have to be Energy Star rated. That is one of our requirements. That one is for your home. And this one right here is for your business. So for your business, we do offer a bigger variety of rebates. We will also come out to your business and do an energy audit for you. So that is a great program we offer. Um, this is all through Bright Energy Solutions. And I see also you're giving away something today too. Yes, we are giving away some LED light bulbs. So these light bulbs are nine watts. They actually will replace a standard incandescent 60 watt bulb. So those are really great. And then we also have the recess can fixtures which are only eight watts. And then below you'll see the um, LED night lights. Those are sensor night lights. So they will turn off during the day and come on at night. Wow, that's fantastic, and thanks for all you do to help the environment. If we all could use less electricity, well, that would help, wouldn't it? So, thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Our next group here, as I'm part of this too, is the uh, Becker County Master Gardeners. And we got a couple of our Master Gardeners here representing the group. And uh, introduce yourself and tell you what you're doing here today at the Earth Day. My name is Nick Williams. We're giving out free seeds and reusable bags for groceries and other purchases. Uh, also, in any information anybody would want about gardening or sustainable living, we're here to support that. And you also do some work with pollinators too, Nick? Right. We're uh, part of the pollinator program through the uh, University of Minnesota. Both Scott and I uh, will serve as coaches for anyone that wants to uh, introduce a pollinator section in their yard or on their land. Oh, great. Thank you, Nick. And my name is Wanda Foley, and I'm relatively new to the group. Um, but anyway, I'm here today with uh, on the Earth Day, and one of the things that we're also doing today is their produce bags that you can crochet yourself and we've included instructions here. You can certainly contact the office if you're interested and can't attend today. It's instructions on making your own reusable produce bags. They're 100% cotton, so they're very sustainable. And Wanda, in the summer you guys got a program too at the Extension Office. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, we run clinics from the Extension Office. It's Mondays and Fridays. Um, earlier in the season we are not open on Fridays, only Mondays. But then later on we are, we are open um, Mondays and Fridays to answer any of your questions that you might have, problems with pests or plant diseases, gardening questions. Um, so you can bring in samples or whatever, and we're happy to look up information and answer those questions. And it's also volunteer week, so we love the people that get a hold of the extension office and talk to Linda up there if you want to become a master gardener. That'd be fantastic. Here's a picture of our bags we're giving away for the Becker County Master Gardeners. They do a great group, and they do a, a lot in the community. So thank you, guys. Our, our next person, next booth here, is a public library which is hosting this event today. And Greta, tell us a little bit about yourself and Earth Day. Yeah. Well, uh, my name is Greta Gook. I'm the director at the DL Public Library. And for Earth Day this year, I partnered with Scott here at Becker Pet to put this event on. Thought that the library would be a good place to host. Uh, the idea is just to get people in the same room, having conversations so we can start talking about what we can all, the small things that we can all do uh, to help our environment, to start 
start living more sustainably. I think a lot of it is uh, learning from each other and kind of encouraging and inspiring each other because, you know, the uh, sometimes it seems like a very big insurmountable problem uh, the the issues that our, our world is facing but I think just through little things that we all do um, we can make a difference and the library uh, we have a lot of resources um, books um, if you need access to the internet to, to look things up that you've heard about if there are you know videos that you've heard about that you want to watch you can come down here or just questions about things you've heard that you want to follow up on come down to the library so um, we're really hoping to support our community as we all face our growing challenges together so. yes fantastic and uh, i'm going to show you one thing here i saw your we got uh, greta came out and put a display of environmental books out here and here's one of the books uh, silent spring by rachel carson and i read this book years ago and yeah. It's a fantastic book. She predicted what was going to be happening with the environment, and it's a lot about pesticide use. And since this book was written, I know they banned DDT, but this was written a lot about DDT. I read this quite a few years back, but it's a fantastic book, and that's one of the resources that the, the DL Library has. So come on in and talk to their staff here and get some information about you know the books and stuff and some reading material. So. Absolutely.